Hello, I'm Jacob. You're watching The Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. I think I'm going to have to do a new YouTube series called The Black Pill. Uh, however, I wanted to talk to you guys today partially about slavery, but to a larger, um, to a larger degree, what the Civil War has meant for us today and why the war that people are wanting to fight today was already lost yesterday. Um, this came up because I was uh, on a Facebook page, uh, Rock Hassan T, I think it was, and they were talking about uh, the freest tea since, um, you know, something, something about the Civil Wars. The freest tea since the North won the war, something like that. And uh, people were commenting on there like, Oh, I like Sherman. Um, let's let's get all of these slave-owning people together and burn them to the ground or whatever. <clears throat> Something like that. And it's an amazing example of how psyops can manipulate a people into a war and then continue to manipulate a people for generations. So, to understand to get a better and more rounded understanding of the Civil War without all the doctrine that's been done to it, you need to know about the Great Recession that happened right before the Civil War when a ship full of tax money sunk over in... who cares where. By the way, I'm not here to like give you notes and like sources and do a scholarly article. I'm here to lead the horse to water, so... You can Google this and whatever else if you want. And, you know, other people in the comment section below will probably do that job for me just fine. Anyways, uh, so we had these giant tax hikes and the South was like, hey, this isn't fair. Get bent and it's wrong. And uh, we have states' rights. And the Union was like, um, you're going to do what I say or I'm going to kill you, essentially. It's obviously overly summarized. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have a quote from Abe Lincoln saying that he doesn't care whether he can keep slavery or free the slaves as long as he protects the Union. But the big point to, uh, that I want to bring to you today is that the Civil War did not end slavery. Therefore, the Civil War could not have logically been fought over slavery. The overly repeated um, belief that the Civil War was fought over slavery is a half-truth. Only the South was mandated to make slavery illegal. The North was still allowed to have slavery. And uh, many states, like Kentucky in particular, only agreed to join the Union if they could, in fact, still have slaves. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the part that hopefully I got to soon enough before you started oh, I'm so angry in the comment section or click to another video. Uh, slavery was legal in Kentucky until 1976 when Kentucky voted to ratify the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. They didn't have to do that. And there's other states that didn't have to do that either because they were in the North. Slavery was only made illegal in the South. The Civil War was about control, taxation, and states' rights. Mostly about taxation. So all of the people who are today, you know, talking about the Boog and states' rights and individual rights and liberty, um, don't understand that this, this war has already been had. And they support the wrong side of the war. That's how powerful PSYOPs are. Even more powerful is the fact that slavery is still legal today in America. And the fact is that you are most likely a slave. If you define slavery with any type of logic, at the end of the day, you're going to have to define ownership. Right? Because, as a slave, you are owned by someone else. And the definition of ownership has to be what you have the right 
to keep for yourself the right to protect. If I own this house and some bum comes into the house and says, sorry, dude, I own the house now. I'm sleeping here. If I can't keep him out, I don't own this house. Somebody else does. The bum might not, but the government who's going to legislate what happens and potentially kick me out of my own house if I do something wrong, they own the house. Pretty simple. If you don't have the right to defend yourself, you are not owned. So if you are afraid of finding yourself in a self-defense situation because the repercussions that you know that will come, even if you're in the right, you already know that you're a slave and you have accepted it. Now, here's, here's the problem, is the acceptance. You have to know that there's a problem to fix the problem. The first step is admitting it okay so when you are looking at what you are free to do in the land of the free and what freedom is and whether or not you are free when you look at taxation and all of the laws most of which are illegal that govern your everyday life not just the second amendment not just the first amendment but everything it's likely that you will come to the realization that you are not in the least bit free. Every bit of little peasant money that you're allowed to have, you're only allowed to have because they need you to make that money so that they can get their part, right? So they allow you to own a few little peasant things, just like slave owners allowed slaves to own, so long as you follow all of their rules, and if you don't, they will kill you. The, the force that makes every law, that gives every law power, is ultimately death. So, you don't want to wear your seatbelt? Okay, someone's going to give you a ticket and a court date. You refuse to show up to the court date because you think that the ticket is wrong? They're going to go give you a warrant. You refuse to go with the warrant or do what the officer tells you, he's going to force you to. If you do not allow the officer to force you to do what he wants, he will kill you. Unless he can subdue you against your will. Um, all of this, of course, is contrary to the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, and not every law... You know, they say it's, it's popularly pushed around that if the punishment for a law is a fine, then the law is only for the poor. Also accurate. So I'm not here to tell you the proper form of government. I'm a centrist myself. I'm not an anarchist. I believe that the perfect form of government is a constitutionally regulated republic. Uh, you know, so between totalitarianism and anarchy, that's right in the middle. Um, people who call themselves centrist, of course, are between a Republican and a Democrat, so they're like far left-wing. Regardless, um, if the Civil War was about slavery, you would be free. The problems that you are having today are the same problems that real men of yesterday fought for in the Civil War, and they lost and you would still fight against them, most likely. Chances are, because you believe the narrative that has been given to you. When I talk about the Civil War, you will lose to these other videos. It's because I'm talking about the control of the narrative and how important controlling the language used by the people really is. It's everything. And if you... If they can make you fight against your own self-interest, partially because they educated you, partially because they control the media, partially because they control the entertainment industry, partially because they control the food, the power, and the water, if they can make you fight against your own self-interests, how are you going to win the war?
anyways, I'm sure I forgot all kinds of stuff. But uh, this is a spur of the moment, unexpected video that just popped up because um, these people were arguing with me with assurance that slavery was illegal across the entire United States after the Civil War. No more slaves were owned. Uh, historically, that is incorrect. Uh, and sadly, um, you can't have done any research into the topic to actually believe it. So they are violently and powerfully believing something that they are not willing to research that is wrong. That is the control of the narrative. Let me think in the comment section below, uh, in the description box below, you can see how you can support this channel. Uh, I'll talk to you down there. If you enjoyed the video, start a fight in the comment section, give it a thumbs down, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.